Hey peeps, it's your girl Daxani and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do my best to attempt to do a tutorial on how I draw and color dreadlocks and Mary this one's for you because I know you've been asking me for like a while but I've just been kind of like nervous to actually do a tutorial because I feel like I either over explain or I'm just not a good explainer but wish me luck. I hope this helps out. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the different shapes that I've done my dreadlocks in. So, um, we have this shape right here. It's just your basic like rounded end shape. And it depends on, I guess what you want to go for. And then let's say if you want to kind of like, I guess add movement to it. Hold on, this could be so much better. Then, kind of like my personal favorite, you have this one, which I think to me is like a little bit more natural, whereas it gets a little thinner at the bottom. So those are the different shapes um, definitely experiment and then check pinterest to look up reference photos of people who have dreadlocks there's different styles of course but first i'm going to show you how i used to do the details which is i think is like an easier start you know you just add just little lines in the hair basically going to show you how I color these real quick. I'm, I'm just going to do one of these. I'll do this one. So let me merge and then I'm going to lower the opacity. So, so now I'm just going to basically add the line art, but I'm going to kind of give it a little bit more, I guess, definition, more details in the dreads but if you wanted to you could totally leave like the end smooth it just depends on your style um because i've seen it so many different ways well usually like okay for the lines here like let's say Right, let's say, uh, you know, I wanted her to rock like blue dreads or something. This is like bluish purple. Okay, cool, right? And I'm the type of person that likes to color my <laughs> line art. So let's make it a kind of a darker bluish purple, right? Okay, so we're gonna take that same color. So then of course I like to add some shadows in here. So let me see, let me go back to the regular color and add a somewhat darker color. So now basically we're just kind of adding some shadow details. Wherever you see fit. If there's the if you have a light source, use that light source. And sometimes I like to just add extra lines, like instead of shadows, like I'm adding shadows, but I'm also like, I'll add lines as well. So I do a little bit of both. Right. 
night, okay? Gonna be more in the center. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both shadows on the sides. And then I like to get a lighter color and add some highlights in there. So let's say the light source is in the center. They, they just kind of go in the center like this. Like, let me make this a little bigger. Like that. Yeah, so that's basically one way to do dreads. Okay, now let's go to the other way that I do dreads, which is like not that big of a difference, but I'm gonna show you anyways. So this way I'm about to show you I was in actually inspired by Loish. I'm pretty sure a lot of artists know who she is, but I'll just put up a picture here. So some are thick and then some are like really thin and then I'll kind of do a halfway like that. These are a little bit more wavy, <laughs> I guess, if that's one way of explaining it, right? It's the same concept, really. Here's like a side-by-side -side of the two, just so you can kind of see the difference. It's not that different. Now that we have the details for the inside, lower the opacity, and then do the line art for it. Okay, so we have our line art. Let's just make this like a regular hair color. And then blonde, airbrush, and I'm just gonna alpha lock this. Ayy, all right, cool beans. So then I'm gonna alpha lock the line art into like for the top part like a darker brown darker brown and then for this one make it like just a also a darker color could be a little bit darker so now we're going to add some some shadows let's do a clipping mask for this one so uh, let's get a darker color get your favorite brush that you like to use for shadows um, and some more detailed lines remember we're kind of doing shadows and even extra lines here let's add a shadow there and then I'm gonna change that too, cause it, it's just gonna look weird. Okay, alpha lock the, the shadows and other details and turn that into a Darker color, airbrush. There we go. Awesome sauce. And then let's get some highlights in there. Another clipping mask. Get a lighter color of this blonde that we used. Just add some highlights. And then let's get a lighter brown color too. Then of course that little shine. And let's get a oops, a white and overlay. Yeah. 
yeah yeah there we go pretty much now i'm going to draw it on a head that i made okay we have this head i just kind of just start drawing lines i do this first right let's just do the rounded ones for this one right Um, you can make them thin or th as thick as you want to. When it gets to the scalp, I normally add these extra little lines here. Also, what I see some people do as well, like with these, with the rounded dreadlocks, is that they'll add, you know, just random little squigglies here, um, like this. But like I said, it just depends on your style, honestly, and for you to experiment with. Like normally I'll go in and I'll do like, you know, the lines and stuff like this and then eventually just lower the opacity and then go over it with line art. So this is how I draw and color dreadlocks. So before I show you guys how to draw braids, I just want to let you guys know if you hear any like loud noises or like a banging sound in the background it's because um, there are people working on the roof of my house so for the first way that i'm about to show you guys how to draw braids is something that i'm incorporating slightly it's something new that i learned so you kind of want to do like a v shape first like that then you want to draw these zigzags And then what you're going to do is you're just going to connect the pointy sides to the lines like this. There's our braid and let's say we wanna clean it up because we wanna make the edges rounder. So lower the opacity and then just, you know, do the line art portion of it. I have to say this is like a little wonky only because I'm starting to trying to get used to this technique then of course you know if you're adding beads or just the hair tie and then the hair sham whatever floats your boat you know before I color this one I'm gonna show you guys how I personally do braids but I'm probably gonna start incorporating like that V shape in there but this is how I do it as of now just draw two lines and then i actually like connect it and then this line here i just cross it from the middle like this it's kind of in the middle towards the end actually here like that and so on right all right then we want to lower the opacity and then of course make the edges rounded see it makes sense to do the v shape because then you're just kind of like it doesn't get smaller as you're like braiding i don't even know what i'm doing with my hands but you know if you know how to braid you know what i'm talking about so so let's say like i want to incorporate the v-shape i just want to try it because i actually haven't tried it i 
I like this way not so much as just doing this or whatever so you know whatever floats your boat you know you just kind of like I said before you have to experiment to see what works for yourself Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I color braids. Um, I'm just going to color this one. I'm actually going to do, like, I'm going to do black hair. Normally I'll start with like a dark gray, I should say. So then I'm going to take a even darker gray, you know, for those shadows. I could go in and do like, you know, details like this, which I do occasionally, right? Just like the extra little hair strand details, which is cool. If you want to do that, that's awesome. But you know what? Since we're kind of already <laughs> going in, uh, why not? Why not? So I'm just going to do that. This isn't always necessary in my case. Sometimes I don't really do that. We're going to add some highlights. So <laughs> let's just add a lighter gray. That. Right, okay. Do the shine. Right. City right now. Cool. Okay, so you have the shine here, but I kind of want to show you guys like how I would do it without all this extra detail. I feel like I would do this if it was just one single braid, but let's say like you know with multiple braids that I normally do, like you know doing a black hairstyle, right? So I'm gonna take away the little details. So normally, like if I did have like pitch black hair right these shadows honestly wouldn't matter at least in my style um but i just wanted to show you guys like shadowing as far as like if you used another color or something like that but if i wanted to use just straight up black right it's it's all black now but it looks weird because the line art is also black so we're just going to take a lighter gray color and alpha lock the line art and just lighten up that layer and then take away the shadows and normally like that's how i would normally do a braid as of now i have an example here for this work that i've done for braids see there isn't really like too much detail really the ends are okay they're whatever but that's why i kind of want to start incorporating the that v shape and then this is another example too that i've done for braids this is probably like the closest that i've gotten it um it's okay <laughs> so i just drew like lines here i think twists are really easy and they're actually really fun to draw so <laughs> all right let's <laughs> let's get into it so as we did for the braids and for dreads, we're just going to start off with um, just a guideline here like that, right? And then, this is simple, this is easy, y'all. You're just going to just do rounded lines like that. That's all you're going to do. That is all you're going to do. And depending on how you want to end it, like, I tend to end mine like this, like, like dreads almost. So yeah, do that. Then you're going to lower the opacity on your sketch and finalize it as such with the roundedness, you know. We're gonna color it. Let's do blue, my favorite color. I'm going to color the line art and that. The 
line art is a darker blue. Now let's add some shadows. Okay, then of course some highlights. Here, like this. And voila! That's pretty much it. You're pretty much done. It's pretty simple. You can detail it how detailed you want to get. I, I normally don't, but if I wanted to be like extra fancy schmancy, you know, I could just, well, just go in here with the, uh, with the lines like that. But it depends on your style, like I said. An example of this would be this one that I've currently done. See the twist and then see I feel like I can't even properly show you guys how to do it on the scalp but I, like to me it's kind of self-explanatory but I'm still learning like I, I messed up a bunch of times here and it's still kind of a little wonky. This one here is another example then of course I have this one too this one she has to but see like look at the size there they just don't match up like it just doesn't make sense and i think this is when i was doing it for the first time all right so here are all of the black hairstyles that i showed you how to do in today's video in my first tutorial video so please please don't don't judge me too harshly on this but may i suggest that you follow and watch these artists who have tutorials on black hairstyles. I think they go into more detail than I do and then to just just so you can see other people's styles or other ways on how to do it. Maybe this way wasn't the way for you but maybe um, these artists can help you find a way that's comfortable for you to draw these black hairstyles. So I hope this helped at least somewhat. So if it did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Don't feel obligated to. It's just a suggestion. And once again, thank you all for listening. And thanks for watching. And I shall chat with you soon in the next video. Bye.